Hey guys, welcome back here to our Weymouth series. Today we are taking on Chesham United in the FA Cup third qualifying round. Chesham are a team a tear below us in the pyramid. And hopefully we will be progressing into the fourth qualifying round, which is our board requirement. Um, but we did play two games since that last time we took on Walton. Uh, so back to the league, we took on Concord, and it was a 1-1 draw in that game. Donald McDermott getting the goal for us. And then the next game, it was a 3-0 victory over Dorking Wanderers. Matt Carter with a goal, and Yimmy Arubare getting two goals in that game as well. So as things stand... 13 games have been played, and we are in second place, sitting on 25 points. Himmel Hempstead leading the way with 28 points. You can see that there are a load of teams just a couple points apart. So it is very tight here, as we are all looking to gain promotion. Team news, none really to go over. It is our strong side. So let's go ahead and just jump into this game. Do you know Zane Banton here? I had him in a previous version of Football Manager, and he has some incredible pace, so we will have to watch out for him. Other than that, we should be all right. And we are underway. Once again, we are the away team, so no home field advantage for us. We do have some nice away kits though, so no complaints there. 20 minutes have passed and not much has gone on. But there is a throw in for us now and we turn it over. What's going on here, guys? That's well intercepted by Andy Robinson. Uh, he didn't pick off the pass, but Jack Wake Josh Wakefield picks it up and he has a shot from there and that was very, very poor from Josh. Seven shots, but zero have been on target. Not very good, and halftime is just about here. We do have a highlight, but we throw the ball to Chesham. Can we pump the ball forward here? There we go, McDermott. Plays it out to Woodward. Can you get your cross in? Plays it back to Robinson, who then crosses it in. And McCoyd was there, and he hits it over. That should have been a goal, but he fires it over. Ah, uh, so halftime, 0-0. Zero, zero. Not pleased with what I have seen from our team. Need to put in a much better second half. All right, throw in. We throw it to our team this time. That's an improvement. Good word. Plays it over to McCoyd, who loses out, but Wakefield is there to pick it up. Harfield, can you get your cross in? Why would you shoot that? Come on. And Woodward picks up a yellow card, and then they have a ball over the top and through on goal. It was offsides, but Ward was there, and he made the save anyway. And Matt Carter just picks up an injury. Not good. So, Jordan Nagalo comes on for Matt Carter in that defensive mid. And we're going to take off McDermott. He is complacent out there, even though we are not winning. So, that is a recipe for getting subbed off every single time. It is a corner for Chesham, initially dealt with, but it is not over yet, and Zane fires it in from distant ward, gets a hand to it, but was not strong enough, and it goes in for a goal. 63 minutes in, we are down to Chesham United. Rip. See if we can get a response from our team. Baggy now. 
gets brought down for a penalty. That is a response we were looking for. Brett Williams, I believe, will be taking this. It is Williams. He steps up, and he fires it in there, back on level terms, like 30 seconds to a minute after they score. Can we take this and go on to get the winner? We should have momentum on our side with that. You would think, at least. Woodward picks it up. Someone needs to make a run in front of him, and said he plays it over to Wakefield, bagging on the ball once again. Inside to Wakefield, who has a shot, and he had so much time to get it on to his strong foot. Instead, he takes a first-time shot on his weaker left foot. Keeper was there to collect that. We're going to make a final substitution. And I'm going to take off Hobson because he's on a yellow and a 6.4. So Zubar will come on. If he wasn't having a bad game, I would have brought on a more attacking-minded player. But that yellow card is scaring me. Ten minutes left in this game. And then whatever is added on before it goes to a replay... Oh, Woodward has a great cross, and Zubar should have scored. How close was that? And there's five minutes added on. Ward collects the ball off of that cross. Can we mount an attack here and get a winner, please? Harfield has it on the left-hand side. He's running up with the ball inside the baggy. Switches it over to McCowd. Beats his man. Can you get your cross in? He gets his cross in and Wakefield skies it. Oh my goodness. And then Baggy gets injured. I cannot believe Wakefield has just absolutely skied that over. Oh my gosh. He could have won the game for us twice. And it's going to go to a replay. Oh my goodness. So I guess I will be back in just a moment when I get to that replay. Okay guys, and we are back about to take on Chesham in a replay in the third qualifying round of the FA Cup because we failed to get the victory over them. Uh, so we got a couple of injury news to go over. Starting off with Baggy, he is out two to five weeks with a groin strain. And then Brett Williams picks up a sports hernia just a couple days after that Chesham game. And this game is just a few days after the last matchup against them. So back-to-back -back games against them now. Uh, so team news with all those injuries. We have Jordan Rose coming in for Matt Carter in the defensive midfield role. Uh, he hasn't played any competitive games for us yet this season, but he does seem decent enough for the role we're going to ask of him today, but probably won't see much of him after today's game. We also have Yemi Adubade in at striker, and we have a new signing. This is James Boot that I signed on a non-contract he last played for Bournemouth. Um, we de we just need an upgrade in midfield. Josh Wakefield not getting it done. Uh, James Boot is instantly better than him. So he is straight into the lineup. So yeah, let's just jump into this second game and hopefully we will be getting a victory today. And we are off. At the Bob Lucas Stadium. Early chance for us off of a corner. But that header is saved by their goalkeeper. Already a better start than the last game. And McCoy picks up their pass. And he's through. 
and his shot is saved. Off the corner, Woodward whips it in. It is dealt with, but we pick the ball back up and we instantly push forward. And that comes to nothing. This is dangerous now from them. Ooh, that shot is well scuffed wide. That player should have done better. Thankfully, he doesn't, though. McDermott once again looking complacent, even though we are not winning. What is your problem, Donald? Super annoying. Ooh, that was almost a great cross, but it was just too close to the keeper, and he picks it up before... McCowd was able to get there. Not able to keep hold of the ball. Gives them a great opportunity, but Ward comes up with another big save. They've had two clear-cut chances now. We can't continue to give them clear-cut chances. They will score them. We've been much better at hitting the target. Ten shots, not on target. And Jesus, they almost scored right before halftime. I'm not happy with this performance. Once again, halftime, we haven't scored yet. And this is a team that we should be beating. Okay, underway here for the second half. Haven't made any changes yet. Have to be cautious of potentially going into extra time and then penalties. So we don't want to spend all three changes too early. And they hit the post. My goodness, we are getting extremely lucky. That could be a red. Oh, darn. But this is a great opportunity. Yummy. Arubade. Great first touch. Gets around the keeper. Easy tap in after that. Another great ball in from Woodward off of a free kick. Beautiful. Clearly on side. Don't need to go over that. Now let's keep this up. Let's not instantly concede. That would be terrible. There we go. Just stay calm, guys. Great bit of play there. And McDermott now has it. Cuts inside, has a shot, but not able to get that on target. I don't mind that. That was not bad at all. Okay, 63 minutes gone. We are going to make a substitution. Ben Thompson is going to come on for Arubade. And we're going to hold on a little bit longer for these next subs. And we're going to make a second one. We're going to bring on Nagalo for Jordan Rose. And the last one we'll use sometime in the last 10 minutes of the game. Seventy-eight minutes we are on the ball. We could get another goal here now. It would surely seal the deal. McDermott gets caught on the ball, but he wins it back. Woodward now. Free kick. What? Don't. This is going to be a red card? For what? How was that a red card? I don't believe it. Okay, so that makes things much more difficult now. Um, guess we'll bring on Buckley for 
Andy Robinson, and we'll move Buckley into the middle and Zubar out to right back. For the last 12 minutes or so, can't believe we got a red card off of that. He lost the ball and didn't really look like he made a bad challenge. But I guess he did. And Ben Thompson almost gets a goal. Oh, almost a follow-up goal. We're holding on. McDermott fires in a free kick, and it's just over. We have looked decent after getting that sending off, and full time is here. We just about <laughs> get the victory, 1-0. Not, not a good game, once again. Definitely a let-off. Don't know why you guys disagree with that. It was clearly a let-off. Team below us, we struggle to get a win against. But we are through to the next round, and we will actually be facing off against Bromley in the fourth qualifying round. Bromley are in the National League, so the league just above us. So I guess I will be coming back for that game. And then if we advance, we'll come back for the next FA Cup game. If not, we will probably be playing a bit more games in between the next episode, but that is all to be determined. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. Until next time, it's been your Boyd147.